Hey everybody, it's Belinda. You wanna make a better looking cover letter? Then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five tips. Tip number one, be you, be you. We see cover letters, HR professionals, we see cover letters all the time. You know, the same old thing all the time to whom, whom it may concern or dear HR manager, be you, be you. Let your personality, let little things about you show on the cover letter. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, be 100% professional. So a lot of people sometimes get a little too comfortable or too lax when they're writing a cover letter. On their resume, you know, it kind of just states the facts because it's a snapshot of a moment in time. But you're cu And people, when they do their resume, then sometimes when they add a cover letter, it's not as professional as it needs to be. You want to make sure that your res resume, you want to make sure that your resume is professional, but you also want to make sure that your cover letter is professional. You should be making sure that you're checking the grammar, the spelling, you have the correct date, that you're applying for the correct job, that it matches the job description that you're um, applying for, that you're interested in. You want to make sure that it's professional. There's no errors. It's not crumpled up, crumpled up if you're giving a hardcover paper. If you're sending an email, you want to make sure it's on, um, that it's formatted correctly. So again, it needs to be one hundred percent professional in keeping it 100 percent professional you don't want to talk about anything negative about your last job or about your last boss keep that to yourself you want to be professional if you want to state why you're looking for a new job at the time again don't put that because my boss is a jerk or the company i work for doesn't have room for growth you don't want to put that on your cover letter. Don't waste your space talking negative about your former employee. Take that time to talk about yourself. Talk about what you can bring. So you wanna keep your cover letter 100% professional. So step number three, show some personality. So let your personality show in the cover letter. Again, be you, keep it 100% professional, but show some personality. So an example of showing some personality, you can talk about um, something different about you. That's, that's, that's you. Like, I like to make sure that all my spreadsheets are labeled the exact same way so that they're easy to, easy to find. That's something unique. That's some, that's some, that's your personality showing through that you're organized and it's professional. Sometimes on a cover letter, it's hard to do all these things and be all these things. It's hard to be you. It's hard to show some personality. And then on top of that, you still have to be professional. But it can be done. So, But you want to make sure that you do it tastefully and tactfully. So being showing some personality is not necessarily being personal. So again, notice how I use the example of when I do my spreadsheets, I label them in a certain way. That way they are able to... Um, be easily found when I'm going through the system. And you can list how you label it. I mean, if it relates to the position that you're applying for, but it shows that, you know, that's my personality. I'm organized. I'm organized to the letter, to the T, so organized that I name all of my spreadsheets a certain way. It's being me. It's being 100% professional. And it's showing some of my personality. So that's tip number three. So for tip number four, you want to be reasonable. That's right. You want to be reasonable. And what that means is do not say that you can do something that you can't do. Don't overshoot yourself. Don't undershoot yourself. So if you can, if you can hit the mark, say you can hit the mark. Or if you can hit above the mark, say you can hit above the mark. But don't say that you are an expert in making excel formulas when you're not when only you know how to maybe do one or two formulas make one or two formulas because that's overshooting that's overreaching so be reasonable state you know i'm familiar with excel um i do know how to make formulas in excel 
you don't, that's reasonable. That's hitting the mark. That is not overshooting the mark because if you're hired to do something on the skill that you said you can do and you can't deliver, they won't keep you. So a good example. So I hired a woman once who told me she could do all these things in Excel and Access, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access, which was great. That's what I was looking for. So she said she could do it. I believed her that she could do it. When it was time to deliver, to be able to do those things that she said she could do, she couldn't do it. Thus end up co costing her her position because she was hired to do those skills that in the end she really could not do. So don't overshoot yourself saying that, yes, I can do all these things when in reality you may only can do some of those things and not the um, expert example of Excel or Access. I use that example of Excel or Access, but that you know how to do Excel and you're familiar with Access is different than being the expert and can do in all these formulas. So don't overshoot yourself, overshoot the run, runway when you're in the cover letter. Be reasonable. Be Don't undershoot, but don't overshoot. Be reasonable. So tip number five, and the most important tip, is that come from a place of strength. When you're writing a cover letter, talk about your strengths. Do not talk about your weaknesses. Do not talk about any personal problems or any personal issues, you know, that you're having. I'm moving from this, you know, let's say you're moving. I'm moving from this state because, you know, I'm having personal problems at home. That's, that's inappropriate for a cover letter. So come from a strength. Come, come from your strength of what you can do, of what you can bring. Again, be reasonable. Don't overshoot it. But come from a place of strength. That's what an employer wants to see. They want to see what can you bring to this position? What can you bring to this organization? So in the cover letter, if you're writing a cover letter, if you are writing a cover letter, you want to make sure that you are coming from a position of strength. So to recap, all of the five tips that will improve your cover letter. Tip number one, be unique. Number two, be 100% professional. Tip number three, show some personality. Tip number four, be reasonable. And tip number five, come from a place of strength. Good luck on writing your cover letters. You can do it. I'll see you on the next video.